This is a SnapEd New York video presentation. My name is Samantha Oster. You can call me Mrs. Oster. I am the Farm to Preschool Coordinator for the Eat Well, Play Hard and Child Care Settings Program. Today, we will be watching a lesson from the Grow It, Try It, Like It curriculum. I hope you guys enjoy it. Today, we're gonna talk about a fruit. Yeah, that's really different, right? This whole time, we've been talking about vegetables, right? Can anybody help me review what vegetables we've talked about? Let's see, last week was something orange on the inside and brown on the outside. <gasps> That's right, sweet potato. And before that, we talked about a green leafy looking thing. Hmm. Yup, spinach. And the very first week we ever met, yep, that beautiful big yellow crookneck squash. So today we're gonna talk about a fruit that is called cantaloupe. Has anybody here ever had a cantaloupe before? All right, well hopefully a few of you guys have had. Now cantaloupe has a couple other friends that also go in the melon group. Can anybody name some of their favorite melons? Yeah, I love watermelon. Also, there's honeydew melon, right? All right, so let's take a look. Miss Sam has here a cantaloupe. It kind of looks like a big ball, right? Yeah, so can anybody tell me what color the cantaloupe is? It's a little green can, right? So when the cantaloupe is out on the farm, you don't want to pick it until it's a little more tan than green. This one is a little less ripe, but it's kind of hard to find ripe ones right now. <gasps> Miss Sam just remembered. Before we jump into our lessons, let's take a look over at our word wall so we know all the right words to describe our cantaloupe, right? Let's have a look. The first word on our word wall is a word that we have encountered a lot through these lessons, and that is the word seeds. The next word is the sun. Everybody loves the sun. It brings us warmth, it lets us go play outside, and it helps our fruits and vegetables make food, right? The next word is space. Now, we never specifically had space on the word wall, but we have talked about it a bit. When we talk about how far apart fruits and vegetables need to be planted, that is because they need space, correct. The next word is strings. Anybody know what strings are? So typically when you think of strings, you think of your clothes or something like that, right? We'll talk a little bit more about strings in a bit. The next word is slippery. Slippery. Can anybody think of a situation that can be a little slippery? Yeah, when the sun is hiding and the ice is out, it can be kind of slippery and dangerous, right? Yeah, so that's slippery. Also, when you have soap on your hands and you rub them together, that feeling that you have is kind of slippery, right? The next word we're gonna talk about is a color, and that color is orange. Yay, orange. We also talked about this with sweet potatoes, right? Because the inside of a sweet potato was orange, correct. The next word we're gonna talk about is cool. And here we bring back our cool baby, relax and pool side, but again, we talked about that cool isn't about being cool with your sunglasses hanging out. It is about the feeling of being cool. Like when you jump in the pool and it's so refreshing and cool, right? The next word is the word juicy, juicy. Now here I have a picture of an orange that's really juicy, right? When you cut into an orange, a bunch of juice is falling out. It's so juicy, right? The next one is also a color, and my favorite color, the color
color? Green. Yes. Green. All right. So let's hop back into our lesson and take a look at this cantaloupe. So now that we have looked at the outside of the cantaloupe, Miss Sam is showing you a picture of the inside of the cantaloupe. Now, remember the parts of a fruit. The outside part is called the peel. Can somebody tell me what color the peel is again? Yes, we said the peel should be tan and not green. Can anybody tell me what color the flesh is? Yes, we said the flesh should be orange, right? Correct. Now, is there anything else aside from the peel and the flesh inside this cantaloupe? Correct. We can also see some seeds inside, right? And something else. It looks like those seeds are being held in place by some kind of fibers or strings. So this is why strings was on our word wall because all of the cantaloupe seeds are being held in place by these really cool strings. So let's talk about where cantaloupe comes from. We've taken time to talk about where spinach, crookneck squash, and sweet potatoes come from. How about we take a few minutes to talk about where cantaloupe comes from. So cantaloupe grows from seeds. I will also cut to a picture of cantaloupe seeds. So last week our vegetable did not come from seeds. Sweet potatoes came from slips, right? So now we're back to seeds, our little friend seeds. So for cantaloupe, it really needs a lot of room to grow, right? So we have to plant the seeds far apart. So far apart, in fact, that it might be as far apart as some of our friends are tall. If anybody is three feet tall or 36 inches tall, that is how far apart cantaloupe needs to be planted. So if you laid one of your friends down who's three feet tall, that's how far apart cantaloupe should be. That's pretty far, huh? You'd have to have a pretty big garden or farm to grow a lot of cantaloupe, right? So cantaloupe has to be 36 inches apart. Another way to measure that is if you have rulers. Now rulers are 12 inches, so you would need three rulers. It would be three rulers apart. That's pretty far apart, right? I think that one takes it for the longest and furthest apart of all the ones we've talked about so far, right? So after the cantaloupe is planted 36 inches apart or a yardstick or three rulers or one friend apart, we wait for those vines to get all spindly and long. Once they get nice and spindly and long and we see those beautiful blossoms come out, we wait just a bit longer until the cantaloupe starts emerging. Once the cantaloupe emerges, we wait it starts off more of a green, and eventually when it turns tan, it will be ready for picking. Then, once it's tan, the cantaloupe is picked, and then it is transported to the grocery store or the farmer's market, where we can buy it. So next, Miss Sam will show you what a cantaloupe would look like at the store. And now you don't see the vines anymore. The cantaloupe is just by itself, like a little ball, right? So that is what a cantaloupe looks like. And I encourage you guys to try a cantaloupe if you get a chance. It is a very tasty, delicious, colorful fruit that provides a lot of nutrients. Well, boys and girls, thank you so much for joining me today. I really enjoyed discussing cantaloupe with you guys. If you guys have any questions, feel free to ask your teacher and she can send me an email and we can be in touch about this. And make sure you talk to your parents about what we talked about today. Thank you guys, and I hope you guys have a wonderful day. Goodbye. Thank you for joining us today. We know the healthy choice isn't always the easiest choice, but small changes can make a big difference. Start today by getting involved with SnapEd New York.
This program is free for those who qualify or receive SNAP benefits. We want to help you save time, save money, and eat healthy. Learn how SNAP Ed can make a difference in your life. For more information and to find your local program, visit snaped.ny.org. This material is funded by USDA's Supplemental Nutrition Assistance Program. SNAP, this institution is an equal opportunity provider.